<laughs> you join me on pardon whisper you join me doing my new taste test which is as requested from somebody I, I like an awful lot no not me <laughs> that other person who looks like me but a bit younger and longer hair she's done a bug me no I can't say anything more uh, right we're going to do a ch chicken nugget test so we've gone the chicken nuggets and we've gone for something slightly more different, i.e. not minced up chicken. Starting in the cheap corner, the blue one, we've got 20 breaded chicken nuggets from the Tesco value range. They were as cheap as uh, chips. Then we've got the fancy battered chicken dippers from Tesco's. And finally, we've got the bird's eye one, obviously not own label. You're paying for the brand, aren't you? I've got more to say about that later. And also, in the green corner, we've got the vegan version. Both, uh, obviously, exactly the same from Bird's Eye. And then we move on to our uh, proper chicken. It's not minced up crap with a coating. It's actually bits of chicken. So we go from mild breaded mini fillets to southern fried KFC style chicken and then we've got hot and spicy chicken breast which is obviously give it a bit of a pizzao. Anyway I've had to get my uh, weighing scales out because it, it, oh, oh, already something doesn't add up. Now I've got my uh, my crib sheet here including some very advanced mathematical formulas and I'll go through what each one has. So the Hearty Food Company, 320 grams in weight for 20 breaded chicken nuggets. And for 85p, <laughs> you can't say fairer than that. Sadly, they're only 39% chicken. So we'll see, we'll see what we shall see. It is what it is, but they are cheap as chips. And then we go to Tesco's one, uh, which actually only, it's still only £1.60. And not only that, you get 450 grams rather than 300. So, you know, quite a lot more. And it's 53% uh, chicken. Sounds good. And then we get into bird's eye. This is where I get my issues. I don't have any problems with the vegan one. I'm trying to work out how much chicken they have. It's zero. Um, but what else is there? Uh, well, wheat protein, 35%. Plus also bamboo fibre. Who would have thought that a pretend chicken nugget would have bamboo fibre in it? I hope I don't get pestered by uh, pandas <laughs> later on, like rats. I'm trying to get some of them. Yeah, so that, so I'm not sure about that. It's 220 grams, and that's 220 grams. But that one, of course, is the bird's eye chicken one so it's one pound eight again 50 percent chicken rather than 53 percent for the tesco ones and that was 450 grams and that is 220 grams apparently so this is what got my interest because that's twice the weight it is 20 and that's 12 it should be 10 so somebody's somebody's lying somewhere and it turns out the birds are lying. That they, that doesn't actually weigh two twenty grams. It weighs two hundred and two grams, because I, I I weighed a bird's eye nugget on my scales. And guess what? It was it was underweight. So not only you're ripping you off <clears throat> for the actual price and whatever, but the actual nugget is underweight itself by a small factor anyway i got carried away with that and the other interesting thing is these are 450 grams when i measured my scales they were 462 grams so they're all they're, they're kicking above their weight i haven't weighed any of the others yet yeah anyway yeah let's get back to it then and so we go back to the uh breaded mini fillets okay so they are 300 grams and they are Two pounds and 66% chicken. So a big increase over those. 
Then we go to the sun fried chicken breasts. They're for some strange reason. They're, they're actually £2.50 rather than £2. But the reason is they weigh a lot more. They're 450 grams again. If you look on the back, 450 grams rather than 300. I don't know why they, they changed it. So they're £2.50 rather than £2. And the uh, amount of chicken is 68%. And then finally, we have hot and spicy chicken breast, 100% whole fillet. They're back down to two pounds, but it's back down to 300 grams. So there we have it, all of them in their glory. I will get them out of their wrappings and we can have a look at them a la naked. I'm back again. They're all out and uh, having a bit of a sunbathing session. <laughs> And some of them are browner than others. Right, let's keep, let's get going. Uh, we've got a, a disparate bunch here. <laughs> right, okay, let's start off the cheap ones again. The Hearty Food Company. They are breaded, as you can see. They didn't lie. Thirty-nine percent meat, wasn't it? And they're actually they're not too thin. It's not much thinner than a. In fact, they're fatter. That's 50 odd percent, and so is that. And uh, those are only 39%, so maybe they fluff them out with water or, or some other ingredient. We shall see on the taste testing there. And then we've got my, my Brucey's favourite, the battered ones, which are pretty sturdy. They're 50 odd percent chicken, but it is minced again, obviously. Uh, but they were cheap. Cheapest chips, £1.60 wasn't it? Yeah, for... Oh, let's not get into the maths again. Right, okay, so we've got the green ones. We've got the vegan. They're not based on pea, they're based on wheat. And bamboo. <laughs> right, okay, and then we've got the uh, the original uh, bird's eye ones that made out of chicken. Where we did the coating, obviously, sorry, that one needed a bit more of a... Uh, a brown coating than the, the vegan ones. I wonder if that's some sort of clever marketing ploy or not, or whether this went to a different uh, manufacturer. And then finally we get onto the, the mini fillets, the sun fried chicken breast and the hot and spicy chicken breast. And I did those a disfavor, because I said they were 68% chicken and they're actually 70 when I check on the uh, website and on the back of the packet. And they're the ones in the middle, which are the smallest. I'm not quite sure, obviously mini fillets, southern fried and hot and spicy. You can imagine it going from light to brown, which they are doing. But why, why are those so much smaller than the other two from the same company? And also these are 70%, of, uh, whereas these are like less. But you'd think a bigger piece wouldn't have as much coating as a smaller piece. I mean, surely that must have more coating on than that, unless it's very, very thin. I mean, that's quite chunky coating, isn't it? But that one against that, I don't know. <sighs> you learn a lot when you, you, you eat them back to back. I'm not even eating it yet. Right, so let's have a guess what I think is going to be the winner. And I have, I have admitted that I have uh, had just a couple of those too beforehand for a, a, a different video. So I do know, but uh, right, let's have a guess. Yeah, uh, I'm going to say from all those n actual nuggets, that's going to be my favourite. But let's see, if it's not, I will call it that. And on these, uh, it depends what you, I mean, it's all down to the, the, te the coating, isn't it, and what you like. I mean, I like hot and spicy, but then again, I like a bit of uh, KFC goodness. Will that be too bland and boring, just the, the basic one? Hmm. We shall see, we shall see. Right, I've got to get the oven going off. I've got to work out all my timings now, because obviously they take longer than those. Yeah. Right, back soon. Da, 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 da. Right, time for the taste test. <laughs> uh, uh, a, a quick swig of something to refresh the palate. Am 
might need that after all this. Right, let's go. Obviously, we've got the um, the hearty food company one first. Looking pretty plum. Nice and crispy. Let's have a taste. Hmm. Me chicken, breadcrumbs out there. Yeah, they're okay. No, notice I'm not putting any salt or anything on, on these. I'm not got any dips. We're having them au natural. And actually, they're quite not bad, actually. Yeah. They were half the price of anything else. And actually, the bready coating rather than batter, I think it actually works here. It's quite light. Air gaps. That's where they make their money. They're all right though. There's a sort of thing you could buy three packs of when you come back from the boozer on a Friday night. <laughs> Just feel really hungry. Right. And these were my favourites, weren't they? They're the uh, Tesco's battered ones with the most chicken. Most minced chicken. Let's first see. Hmm. Quite thick. Once again, the minced chicken is exactly the same chicken as in that, but you've got a batter coating. It is crispy. There's not that much of a difference. I thought that really not that into the part. That's 39% chicken. Oh my God, can we, get, can we get a closer? I'm not quite sure why the one on the left is 39%, the other one's 53%. I can't taste the difference. I know you, you'll be doing some testing later when they cool down. When they cool down, Whisper. You're just going to sit there, aren't you? Yes, and wait. <laughs> oh yeah. You got to give a. You got to be give a good. You can't just eat them all down and say yeah, yeah, I love them all. Right. Anyway. So yeah. So yeah. So. Ooh, ticket. Mm -mm. Then we're going to Birdside. And to be honest, can you spot the vegan one? I actually moved the plates around a bit. Can you spot the vegan one? What one before it was cut was browner than the other. The uh, chicken one was browner. But now I've been cooking them. Hard to tell, isn't it? Can I spot what, what the vegan is and what the uh, the chicken one is? Let's have a go at this one. Mm. Mm, tastes good. The, the meat, or not meat, on that is a bit browner, isn't it? You compare it to uh, to that. So I'm guessing that's a, a vegan one. It tastes good though. Mm. It has a slightly different taste to the chicken one, but we'll have a, we'll have a go at that in a minute. But not in a bad way. Right, so I've got one of these. Ah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think that's chicken. Yeah, definitely. And that has a different taste, but it's not bad. Like I say, these all have to be eaten in a certain way. Right, let's go back to comparing the uh, the the birds I want to the Now you can see that the uh, the same uh, the Tesco's one. Is thicker. Yeah. So you pay more for this, even though they rip you off, as I said earlier, my mathematical thing, than the Tesco's one. And that's even thicker still. Eighty five P versus one pound eighty. Mm. Oh, 
I know, you've been very patient. I'm only halfway through the test and you haven't gone to the big boys. All right, okay. Uh, right, so what we go. Um, let's give Whisper something. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a blind test, yeah? So we're gonna do, we're gonna do two lots of testing. Oh yeah, we want, let's do one and one and one and one for the first round. What I'll do is I'll put one on the floor and he's got to see which he likes best. Then we'll do another round and we'll see what he likes there. So uh, wait. Now of course he's a bit closer to some than the others. So I'm gonna have to uh, use my Equally spaced. Right, so what we do is we'll do this one first and we'll see which it could just go for any of them, of course. Then we do the second test and if he's got a preference, he'll go for that more. Go get it. Right, so he's gone for that one. That was the uh oh, that was a Tesco's one, wasn't it? The Tesco's the battle one. Now he's gone for the cheap um uh, healthy food company, and now he's moving on to bird's eye. Ooh, got nice crunch action. Yeah, right, okay, so he's gone for all four now. In a minute. <laughs> was that was it that bad? Or oh, that good actually. Gone for a picnic. He'll come back in a minute, here he comes. Right, good. Right, now you've had a, a, an idea of eat what each one tastes. We'll do the second one. Right, go back there, Whisper. Uh, no, 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 oh, oh, look there. Uh, uh, uh. Right, sit. Right, let's do it again. So we've got our, uh, we get our four here. Not that one, we got that one. So that's the two Tesco's ones. Uh, hold on a minute. We've lost a vegan one somewhere. Oh, well, anyway, we, we're not even got into the good stuff yet. I'm getting carried, dis distracted. Right, wait. I'm going to guess. Oh, they're probably too close to him again. You're drooling, aren't you? I just let drool come out of your mouth. Go get them. Oh, he went for the nearest one. Ah, oh, bugger. That's why I'm not a scientist. No, I don't, I don't, yeah, you see, he doesn't like the hearty ones, does he? I think they're quite good. I'm finding the hearty one. And he's gonna forget. Right. <clears throat> okay, let's get on to the, uh, the good stuff. Like I said, it's very strange that we've got uh, the proper chicken and we've got two, three different sizes. We've got the, uh, the normal non spicy ones, we've got the southern fried ones, we've got the hot spicy ones. Let's have a see what they what they like. Mmm. Well oh, fail. Immediately you get the interior. Mmm. It's like light and day. Yeah, I really like that. Right, let's go for the uh, some coated Kentucky type things. They do feel quite soft. Ooh. And that's a good coating actually. Mmm. I do think they'd be dried out because um, they're so much smaller. <laughs> I think prepare the difference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they do that, but that, actually that is quite good. Mm. Yeah, very moist still, and that's it, it's a great coating. I really like this, it makes me wonder what they would be like if they were that size. Mm. Mm. Yeah, 
Don't waste your money on this. Just go for these sort of things. And there we got the... Oh. All right then. Sit down, Shep. No, wait. Wait. Oh, look at those sad eyes. Oh, <laughs> really wants it. Come on. Go on, then. Oh, I'm such a sucker. Right, the final one. The hot and spicy. How hot will Because I, li I like my spicy stuff. Mmm. What the that is? I've got an aftertaste burning. Oh, they are quite warm actually. Really good. Mm. Can't use that, mate. Burn your mouth out. It's not spices in really, really hot where you have to drink a milk or whatever, but it is. It's obviously, they've done really well on the coating differences. That one has got very little coating on it. So if you like a fillet of fish, a fillet of, fish, a fillet of chicken. and you don't want uh, anything too spicy, that's brilliant. Those, I thought they'd be rubbish and they're actually really good. And that actually is very good, very good spicy. Mm. You know, I actually think I prefer those to that. I like spicy, but yeah, I think this is a good compromise. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. I just don't know why they do them in such a small size compared to that. If you had that in that size, it'd be perfect. Hmm. Anyhow, who knows what Tesco's and their <clears throat> delivery people do. What do you think, Whisper, after all that? You want some more? You want some more sit? He does want some more. Right. Oh, we'll get rid of it. At least, at least it saves up on washing up, doesn't it? Whoa. Go get it. Go, go on, go on. Okay. Countdown clock on. Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. Right, good. Well, that was very good. So, in summary, and the final result is, and believe it or not, yeah, the southern fried, very small, Tesco chicken nuggets were the ones to go for. That's a, a close second, and that's a slightly distant third. I do like the cock coating, but yeah, I think they could have been better with that. All we need to do is get these southern coated ones, the same size as that, and we'd be happy, won't we, we lad? We would. All right, end of my video. It's lasted a while.